Listen up for me. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. It's time for nap. Um, I'm cold. And tired. Yeah. How's everyone else, though? <laughs> but it's... Ugh. Well, I haven't played this game since last month. Fuck off, Spooky. <laughs> I do pretty much remember where we left off, despite not, like, editing the part of the video yet. We're on blonde POV, trying to reunite with Ram and Rom, literally just missed each other. Um, Blonde is traveling with Sisha, all those type of adventures. Um, can I level anything up yet? Yeah, I can. Oh, I don't have that much money, that's why I haven't. Okay. Wait. I sent... I think I only have ones cut out right now, but that's fine. Anyways. Story. Converse. 
a few days later. These are the goods we collected from the quest. Do they look correct? Yes, definitely. Thanks, Blonnie. I know this isn't much, but... Not necessary. I don't need it. I just happened to find it in the cave I went to for a different quest. No, oh, but... <laughs> if Blonnie says it's alright, I take her up on that offer. I see. And thanks for helping, Blonnie. Mm-hmm. If you're ever in trouble, just call me over. You're so kind-hearted, Blonnie. If you don't get your consistency fees, the guild will yell at you again, thought. Thought? Hmm. Typos go burr. He just happened to find that. If I gave him what I had on hand, I didn't actually do the quest. And that's called splitting hairs. Well, if you're fine with it, I guess it's alright. But I don't recommend spoiling them just because they seem poor. It doesn't matter to me if they're rich or poor. I don't need a reason to help people in need. Huh. I don't think I could ever look at the world that way you do, Lonnie. And besides, it's my fault that we ended up this way. Hmm. Did he say something? Nothing. Oh, Lonnie, take some of the fruit I picked from home if you'd like. Um, thank you. Hey there, Blonnie. Thanks for the help earlier. Perfect timing. Have some candy. Uh, uh, thank you. Oh, hey. It's the golden pear over there. On a quest again today? We are, but don't call us that. You guys are famous among us hunters. The rookie Blonnie and the veteran Sisha. Both of you make the golden pear. <sighs> Since when did we start getting treated like a pear? It's okay, isn't it? Golden pear. Has a nice ring to it. I don't really think it does. But you really are popular, Blonnie. It must be because of all your help. I may be helping, but I'm not trying to become famous or anything. Oh, I know. I also know that wanting to help out your fellow people makes you suited to be a hunter. You're not getting anything by complimenting me. Come on, let's hurry and go. Hmm, are you embarrassed? Sh shut up! Oh boy. I can't gather much information on Ram and Ram, huh? Yeah, I hope they're both alright. Lots of people have seen them, so at least we know they're safe. I guess there's no use in rushing. Let's look for more information. You seem all calm and collected, but I know the truth, you know? Every night, you look at a picture of Rom and Ram and wish for their safety. What? You, you bitch! You were watching? <laughs> of course, jeez, we're in the same room. You really love your younger sisters, don't you? Don't give me that bullshit! Have you told anyone about this? Oh yeah? Fine. Time to finally shut your mouth. If you told anyone, I won't let you off easy. I'll be hurrying on ahead then. See you later, Flawny. Mm. Oh, by the way, this is the photo evidence. Hello. What the hell did you- Hey, come back here! Oh dear. Lonnie was so terrifying. I'm glad I left the city when I did. Who knows what would have happened if I stuck around. <laughs> hey, Sisha, I finally caught up with you. Whoa, how did you- Now, hand over that photo so I can give you a nice and stern disciplining. But calm down now, Vlani. You're gonna wrinkle that cute face of yours. Like I freaking care! This is bad. I never thought I'd be shaking just from someone's bloodthirsty aura. Grr. Monsters? Alright, nice timing. <laughs> Don't interfere! Here we go.
I think I don't have enough EP. Silly me. There are only two people on the entirety of Twitch right now streaming anything in the series, and that's frustrating. Aww. Yeah, I, I have been fortunately streaming this series very consistently on Mondays. I, I am well aware of that, like pretty much no one else does. But I enjoy the series. Oh. Uh, I really need to like, use Stream Manager so I know when people follow me and whatnot. Uh, gonna tap out of the game for a sec, <laughs> so I can see see what that notification was. I I need to be smarter about my setup a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, but I know where things are sometimes as a treat. There we go, Nightmare Snake. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, do I know what I'm doing? Not really. Of. Uh, I'm smart. There we go. I can do one attack here. Boom. Then I can knock you up. Maybe. Ah, almost. Boo. Stupid gang leader cat. There we go. Phew. He managed somehow. I don't think I end up fighting monsters after chasing you, Sisha. Wait, Sisha's not here? Did she get away? Oh dear. Phew, I got away somehow. But still, what to do with this photo? Uh, how long do you plan on fooling around? Oh, it's you, Anza equals Leb. I'm not fooling around or anything. Right now I'm doing my best to gather info and... Your impertinence is not needed. More importantly, when will you get rid of her? Oh, and about that, I'm working on it in my own way. You said the same thing a couple days ago. I don't think the same excuse will continue to work forever, Sisha. She's not weak, you know. She doesn't give me a lot of openings. I tried jumping on her while she was sleeping, and I got kicked aside. Um, good. Although, Sisha, I do think you should choose your words more carefully. Talking about jumping on her at night. It doesn't really matter, but it does look like you're not good with that sort of talk. Oh, do you not have any experience? Th that has no current rele the, 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 relevancy. If you don't want your matter exposed, you had better fulfill your rule. Now then, it's getting harder to pull the wool over his eyes. Oh boy. Alright, how about scouts? Aww. Blani, listen, I found a great cool concerning Rom and Ram. Really? It's probably better you talk about it with this person instead of me. Come in. Financier! Pardon me. Nice to meet you. My name is Financier. I haven't been relevant since the very first game. So you're Lady Blonde. I've heard all about you from Lady Sisha. If I may start, will you please listen to my request? Request? What about Ram and Ram? Well, you'll see once you've listened. I wish to ask if you could search for two girls that have gone missing. I have a very bad feeling about this. The two girls that have gone missing were the two you are searching for, Rom and Ram. What do you mean they're missing? 
had requested monster extermination from them since they're hunters, but they don't seem to have returned. So he became extremely anxious. Then Lady Seisha appeared. I happened to meet her while gathering information on the two. I understand the situation. It's only the place where those monsters are. I'll go there. You'll accept my request? Thank you. Rom and Ram are my precious sisters. Of course I'll go and save them. I swear I'll find them. Thank you so much. Please, find them. That's the goal. Can I send another scout? Me. Scouts. Okay. Meow, hello cat man. How's it going? Why does this have a Santa hat? Little joke will be. Wee. You're dying? Me too. But I imagine because you're sick, right? I hope you start feeling better sooner than later. Seed. Warp.
Oops, wrong button. They spread out. That's inconvenient for me. Damn it. Let's see where the teleporter goes. Probably to a cluster of teleporters. Ah, that's the exit. Okay, don't want that yet. Okay, there's the event, yay! Grrr. Wrong button. Herc, why are there so many tough monsters like this? Well, Ram, rather. What should we do? I can't... Y you can't give up right now. We have to run. Ow! Ram, uh... Grrr. Kya... I won't let you. Ram, Ram, are you alright? Blon. Oh, Blon, we were looking for you. Don't give me that, you dummy. Damn it. Why have you been wandering around? Do you know this is dangerous? We're sorry. But, but we wanted to find you, and so we tried our hardest. But even then... We can't catch up with them afterwards, Blonnie. Or we can. I can read. So good. I get how you feel, but these monsters aren't going to wait for us to sort this all out. Yeah, you're right. I'll have to thank them for all this... All the bullshit they've been pulling in. <laughs> I'll have to thank them for all the bullshit they've been putting my little sisters through. We Larger team. Let's see. Parameter boost. Oh, I have 12. Uh...
Yeah, uh, equipment. Do I have anything for them? I don't think so, but... You know. Boss fleet. As soon as it loads. Oh, it's very creature. I want one. Yeah. So, so very rude, actually. AP. Boo. Yippee. That should do it. Jeez, what futile resistance. I should be safe here now. I'll keep a lookout, so go ahead. Aw, aw, I really wanted to see you. What? Oh, my babies. I'm so glad you're safe. Do you think I was gonna say that, you little idiots? What? Don't be so damn reckless. Becoming hunters and then ending up in this situation? But, but we thought if you became hunters, we'd be able to get back to where you were. Even then, don't you know your own limits? If you were unlucky, you two might have... Sorry for cutting in, but you became a hunter because you wanted to find these two, right? The way I see it, you're not really in a position to be scolding them like that. Huh? You're a hunter too? I didn't know. Th that's true, Bite. You were worried about them too, so why not just admit that you're happy to see them? Come on. 
line. Fine, I got it. Have you two learned your lesson? Yeah, we have. We won't do anything dangerous like that ever again. Uh huh. All right, I'll forgive you this time. Yay. Thank you, Vaughn. I'm glad you two are all right. I'm really, really glad you're both okay. We're sorry. He just really wanted to find you. He couldn't sit still thinking that you might disappear again. It's fine. I understand. You're injured, so let's go clean up your wounds. Okay. All's well that ends well, it seems. Huh, um, who is this person? I'll explain while we walk back. It's gonna be a long story. Okay. Goodness, you're all safe. I'm sorry, Miss Financier. I'm more sorry to make you worry, Financier. Oh, I'm just glad you two are all right. You're both injured, though. I'll tend to your injuries right away. Please, come with me. Please, take care of them. Is it all right to leave them with her? You could take care of their wounds. I'm not good at treating injuries. Oh, I see. Well then, it'd be rude of me to get in the way of sisters, so I guess I'll be leaving. Why don't you stay a little longer? You just got back. <laughs> what are you saying? I was only going to be your partner until you found your sisters. Ah, uh, I remember now. You're right. And <laughs> now that we found them, there's no reason for us to be together. Thank you, Sisha. I was able to find them safe and sound because of you. You don't need to thank me. It was pretty fun, to be honest. It wasn't bad to have a partner. I'm going to return the favor, eventually. You'll always be able to rely on me. Got it. I'll call you when that time comes. Please do. See you, Lonnie. Hmm. Oh, I need to go to this investment. Yeah, we have more ones now. Yay. Frozen tangerines. Yahoo! Huh? You're bluff, right? I've heard of rumors that you're working hard for the sake of Louis. Let me lend you my strength. Please, let me work as a scout. All right, Mario. Wow, I see. You two both worked really hard, huh? Yeah, totally. They defeated a bunch of monsters for quests. Hydrate? Okay. Thank you for the redeem ball. Taking care of me like the little Tamagotchi I am. Head pets. I need to tap over to VTube Studio for that one. Head pets, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. We defeated a bunch of monsters for quests. There were times he ran away, but we tried our best. That's amazing. We're still so small and weren't able to do all of that. You have bright futures ahead of you. Why are you here again? Oh, Bonnie. Morning. Sleep well? 
Why have you been coming to my room every day since then? I just get in a weird mood without you around, Blani. <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you want. Mom and Ram seem to have gone and attached to you for some reason, too. That's a horrible thing to say. It's obviously a result of me coming here every day. Don't you have something else to do? Well, yeah. But I'm taking it easy. Huh. I understand how you feel. I'll be right with being able to live while just reading books all day. I think I get it now. Maybe the reason why you get along well is because our natures are similar. Don't put me in the same category as you. Also, I have a question for you. Do you remember doodling on my manuscript at all? Doodling? What are you talking about? I kept my manuscript in a locked drawer, but someone was able to pick the lock. He took my manuscript and doodled all over it. No, weird. Juan, don't I strike you as being too old for that kind of behavior? Sorry, guess not. But who broke the lock? Sleep well, thank you so much for popping in and hanging out with us. Um, and also thank you once again for the follow, I appreciate it. We'll be doing more nap next Monday if you'd like to pop in for more nap. Who is it? Oh, Lady Blonde. It's been a while. Financier, what's up? Another request? I've come today because I wish to discuss something that's been on my mind. Could you please come to the house of the person I'm serving? Um, I guess that's alright. Who's this person you're serving? I'm very sorry. I'm allowed to tell you. No need to apologize. I suppose you're not a liberty to talk about that. I'll be going out, so you two better behave. Okay. Well, Sisha and I will keep watch over the room. We'll quietly play some games. Popular as usual, Blonnie. Leave these two to me. I'll play with them in your stead. Aww. Please wait here for a moment, Lady Blonde. Who could it be? I apologize for keeping you waiting. My name is Asna equals Lab, and I am the one who will bring revolution into this corrupt and vile Louis. Revolution? That's right, a revolution. It is my mission to correct the gross distortion of Louis. Distortion? Do you remember? Yes, I do remember. Louise CPU, Lady Whiteheart. I'm speechless. I didn't think anyone here remembered me. Only a small portion of the populace do. We still don't know why Louis has become like this. But as one who still has memories of days past, I'm hoping to correct these aberrations. Aberrations? Are you talking about the license system? Right you are, Lady Whiteheart. Such a system should not exist. However, I lack the power to do so. That is why I wish to borrow your strength, Lady Blonde. My strength? I've heard the details from Renancier. Despite your low shares, you're still quite powerful. Please lend me that strength, so that we can reclaim Louis from the grip of such an outrageous leader. You're trying to use me as your tool, knowing that I'm Louis' CPU. I am aware of how rude it sounds. However, I wish to save those who are pained by the wealth gap. I understand completely. I'll lend you my aid. Thank you. Then, could I immediately request of you to investigate Sisha? What? How do you mean? Sisha is the one who rules over Louis. What? It is natural to be shocked. However, this is definite information that we've obtained. It can't be. Seisha is... But it's not completely impossible. Seisha is a member of Gold Third who defeated the CPUs, so she may be ruling over Louis now. As difficult as it is to believe, this is truth. And also, Seisha bears a secret. From the information I was given, 
She's the one behind the creation of the illusionary monsters. That can't be possible. That is why I would like you to investigate thoroughly to see if this is true. And if it is, I would ask of you to correct this abnormality with your own bare hands. Are you telling me to kill Sisha? If you don't, the damage will spread, and the citizens will suffer. Are you alright with that? Sorry, but let me think for a little longer. I understand how you feel. You've been traveling with her. She's earned your trust. It's difficult to make an immediate decision. But please decide by the next time we meet. Things are about to change, Lady Whiteheart. The day of revolution is not very far away. Hmm. Hmm <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Scouts. Yeah, found a dungeon. Sisha's Louise ruler, but that means she's been deceiving me this whole time. It can't be. Sisha would never make such ridiculous rules. Sisha, I need to talk to you. Could you come with me for a second? Hmm? What's the matter? Just follow me. Well, Ram. Don't come out of this room for a while, okay? What's wrong, Bon? You're making your scary face. Don't worry about it. Just stay here quietly until we come back. Let's go, Sisha. Mon, Sisha, what happened? I don't know, but we should probably stay put. One seemed really serious about it, too. We don't have to worry about being overheard here, so be frank with me, alright? Sure. I heard from a certain someone that you're the current leader of Luby, and that you're part of Gold Third. Oh, you want to talk to me about this, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm the Gold Third of Luby, although I'm not exactly your ruler or anything. So, it was true. Why didn't you tell me before? I really feel sorry about that, but you're a CPU, and I'm part of Gold Third. You did remember me, this whole time. At first, I was trying to atone for my sins. I don't know why, but because we defeated you and the other CPUs, the world changed. I tried to bring it up so many times, but as I got closer and closer to you, it just got that much harder to come clean about it. Then. The story about you creating all those delusionary monsters. You heard about that too? Where did you even get that information? From your reaction, I'm assuming it must be true, right? Yeah, it's true. I was hiding it for my own advantage. Where do I begin? At some point, I started having strange dreams. Or, I guess they were more like nightmares. Ever since I started seeing them, a strange, dark red fog would leak from my body. What? From your body? Are you sick or something? <laughs> it's rare for you to worry about me. Thanks, but the fog seems benign. Since I had no idea what it was, I thought it might have some effect on other people. I've been leaving the city to release it. Since I started releasing the fog, you stopped looking out of me. But that was a bad idea. More monsters started going berserk. These monsters were directly influenced by the fog. And those are the delusionary monsters. Exactly. I became a hunter so I could reduce the numbers somewhat. I feel like it's solely my responsibility. You seem to be pretty half-assed about it, considering. Well, nobody can stay sharp forever. I think that's about it, though. That's the story. Anything else you want to ask me? There's one thing that doesn't add up. When was the license system created? Because 
You most likely started ruling over Louis after you guys defeated us. But even though it hasn't been that long, the system is so deeply rooted in the culture. It's so normalized with the citizens here. And that's actually something I don't get either. On that day, when the light subsided, the world truly changed. It was as if Gold III had always been in power over the nations. The license system was already binding this nation, as if it had been decided from years ago within Louis' government. But there's definitely someone else who created this system, and so I've been searching for this elusive ruler to abolish it. Can you use your authority to find them and abolish the system? I can't do that when all I have is this flimsy title. Besides, there's a rumor that Gold Third created the system, so just make it worse. Seisha. Mel, I've told you everything that was hidden. It's your turn now, Blani. Where did you get this information from? This contact of yours knows way more than he should. The person who gave me this information is... There's no need to tell her. What are these people? Sisha, we will restrain you. <sighs> What's the meaning of this? Well done, Lady Blonde. We're the Revolutionary Army. Her master is waiting. What's going on here? We took the liberty of recording your entire conversation. You were able to record solid evidence of Sisha being the source of Louis' chaos. Why? This is all thanks to you, Lady Blonde. Our master will surely reward you quite generously. Blonde, you... He sold me out. All for a reward? No, I didn't know about this either. Then why are members of this revolutionary army calling you Lady? Sisha, it's a misunderstanding. You guys better let go of Sisha right now. We cannot do that. Take her away. Blonde... I seriously thought you were a good partner. Sisha! Let me go! I cannot. That woman is dangerous. Just let me go, you bastard! Please, calm down, Lady Blonde. Once I was let, you worthless scum! How dare you lie to me! Lie to you? Whatever do you mean? Only requested you investigate her. Isn't it you who expertly performed that task, Lady Blonde? Bastard! You tricked me! I'll smash your face in! Can you do such a thing? Are you able to hurt the soldiers who protect me, your citizens? Damn it! Now then, Lady Blonde. Until next we meet. What a fucking bastard. Seisha, I'm so sorry. I'll save you. Just hold on a little longer. Well then. Your 3A was way off. That's fair. Um, I'm going to BRB for a moment. Yeah. Thank goodness in a way, but ah, uh, that's fair. But yeah, let me give you this screen, yeah. I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. Uh, blah blah. Um, well, where is your theory spooky though? I'm kind of curious. Right now, this nation is dealing with a delusionary monster problem. No one knows yet why monsters are being affected by such a phenomenon. Okay, lawyer. I looked away for just a moment and my village's plants have been cut down. The perpetrator will pay. They'll pay. They'll pay. Oh, you thought Sisha was gearing up to kidnap the twins? Interesting. I've been playing online with my modern monsters, but then I found my name has been exposed on the net. Oh no! People who use weak monsters are the bad ones. If you want to win, you should mod them. Those weak pieces of crap. Oh boy. Um... Okay, the scouts aren't back yet. Thank you. A few days later. Not a few days later's time skips. Come on, how are we gonna stay like this? Let's just go to that Asna equals Lebs place and rescue Seisha already. Yeah, I wanna rescue Seisha too. Well, calm down, you two. I want to go save her just as much as you do, but we don't really have a way to do that. Hey, have you heard? Apparently that criminal the Revolutionary Army captured is going to be executed pretty soon. Because of course. You're talking about that woman, right? How horrifying. To think someone like her was in control and ruling over Louis. Why? Do you think what they're saying is true? Unfortunately, it sounds like something Anza equals love would do. Hang on, Sisha. I swear I'll save you. We. Oh my. Damn you, Plotty, selling me out like this. I want to get out of here. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. Just you wait. Ugh. Who are you going to beat up? You of Wait, Blonnie, why are you here? I came here to save you. Come on, come on. We're escaping now, so follow me. But why didn't you sell me... Didn't you sell me out to the Revolutionary Army? I couldn't possibly do that to you. I kept quiet. I didn't even mind being called the Golden Pair. Blonnie. Come on, let's hurry. You don't know when a guard will come. Alright, let's say goodbye to this depressing hellhole already. There, they've come out. What's the army doing here? Were they waiting to ambush us? Ambush? No, take a look up ahead. We'll be heading up to those gallows now. Bloody, are you... I'm the one who will execute you. Now, hurry and walk. Why? Didn't you come to rescue me? What the hell are you saying? It's because of you that monsters are going delusional. This is how it has to be. If I get rid of you, we'll all be resolved. Lonnie, you tricked me again? I'm just returning the favor. Goodbye, Sisha. Hmm. A fake blonde. Oh, just bad dream. Uh, that was a dream. Inmate, keep quiet in there. Jeez, if I keep having that dream, I'm never gonna get a good night's sleep. Ugh, the fuck. It's leaking out. I hadn't gone to release it lately. Calm down. Hold it in. Go. 
Get back inside of me. You. I held it back somehow. But my body's burning up. I need to get out so I can release it somewhere. Still, that was a strangely realistic dream. Although, it's not exactly impossible. Oni did sell me out to the army. It wouldn't be that strange if she became my executioner. Ah, time to change guards. Hey, I know our prisoner's a woman, but no funny business, okay? What? Dream on. Even if she is female, she's just not my type, you know? What do you mean? Have you even seen my proportions? I didn't train so hard for nothing. I worked AC shop. Hey, come on. What gives? Speak up! Well, um, we don't have any interest in adult women, right? Ew. Ew, I hope they get beat up. Yeah, an underdeveloped body is the best. The most sublime. That's why we just live in the Wii and... Huh? Hmm. What's wrong? Hey, didn't we leave our home countries and become citizens of Wii because the little girl ruled the nation? Why was this one the leader? Now that you mention it, yeah, but what? This is incredibly strange. Isn't it? If the leader of this nation was, yeah, if it was that blonde girl instead of this one, that's the ideal setup for me. Man, I completely get that. She's healthily underdeveloped and doesn't have any of those giant flappy flesh bags like that other CPU. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it sucks to have to get rid of that girl. But it's what Sir on Asna equals Lab wants, so there isn't much we can do about it. Asna equals Lab? And what do you mean you're going to get rid of her? Oops, say it's said too much. Eh, whatever. I guess you can't do anything, so it doesn't matter. So. You could tell me, couldn't you? Sure, you're headed to the afterlife soon enough, so I'll tell you as a parting gift. Sir Asnaiko's lab leads a revolutionary army. He's a wealthy person, so he supplies our army with equipment and such. Hi, Bear. Imagine being such a nuts that your lolicon BS transcends your very own notion of reality, right? What was he planning by asking me to exterminate Blani and creating this revolutionary army? Well, Sir Asnoinko's lab apparently had his eye on that blonde girl because she was so close to you. He was the one who gave blonde information about you. He said a blonde met you with certain information. It would reveal your true nature. Wait, then you're telling me Blani was being used by him? That's right. He seemed to be thinking that she betrayed you. Well, that's not what happened. I see. I said horrible things to Bonnie. Hello. Thank you for your hard work. No, oh, it's you, Financier. What's up? Do you have a message from Sir Asna equals love? Yes, I do. I carry a message for Lady Seisha. A message to me? From Asna equals love? Sorry, but I don't want to hear it. Could you leave? Please, listen to me. It's a very important message for you. Important. What's the message? Could you two please give me in the and made a moment of privacy? What? Us? Um, sure. Call us when you're done. Now we're alone. I'm assuming you didn't throw them both out just to give me a message. I actually wanted to talk to you about Lady Blon. About Blani? What? What? The blah 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 blah. What, what does Servant of Asna equals love possibly have to tell me? To be honest, considering what's happened to you, I feel I can no longer follow him. I decided to side with Lady Blonde. Lady Seisha, if you have a message for Lady Blonde, please tell me. I'll give it to her. You came all the way here just for that? It was my fault in the first place for connecting Lady Blonde and Sir Asna equals love after all. If that's the case, um, sure. There's something I have to tell Blani. Hmm. Scouts.
you. That was a nice bath. Hey, Blonde, I want to get in a bigger bathtub. I like a bigger bathtub, too. The ones in this room's a little small. And you're right. After we save Seisha, why don't we all go to a hot spring? Hot springs? I'd like to go. To do that, we have to save Seisha. Come on, hurry and change or you'll catch a cold. Okay. Who is it? Pardon me, Lady Blonde. Huh? Financier? Yes, it's been some time. I'm glad to see you're all doing well. What business do you have with me now? Another order from Asna equals Lab? No, nothing like that. I'm no longer connected to Sir Asna equals Lab. Also, I've been entrusted with an important message from Lady Seisha to you. No longer connected? And a message from Seisha? What's going on? Putting me on the wanted list? Asna equals Lab, that bastard. He's gotta be kidding! Actually, Lady Blonde, he does not appear to be kidding. I believe he is quite serious. It's a figure of speech! Anyway, we're gonna go to save Seisha. And you mustn't, Lady Blonde. If you rush out there to face that army without making preparations, you're more than likely going to be captured. Nah. Yeah, but... Lady Seisha was very worried about you. In order to save her, you must compose yourself. I understand. I should prepare first, like you said, Financier. Thank you for understanding. Who's that? We have a lot of visitors today. The door is open. Come in. Bonnie, I'm so glad you're alright. You're from the guild. What's the matter? You don't know? You've been put on the wanted list, Bonnie. This poster just arrived. Is this my wanted poster? There's a reward listed in everything. I can't believe he's already made his move. That poster's been given to the guilds in Louis. Several strange people have already been asking us to update our quests at our own guild. Are you here to capture me? I wouldn't come here to tell you this if I had such intentions. You're not the terrible person these posters make you out to be. Yeah, of course. Blonde isn't any villain. She's an ally of justice. Yeah, an ally of justice. Yes, that's what I believe too. But what should we do? Even if we just stay here, if any other hunters were to come. We have to get away from here. Thank you for worrying about me, you two. But it's best you not get yourselves involved anymore. But then, you'll be... Money. understand what you're saying. But if you get in trouble, please, let me help. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. And let's leave from the hotel's back door. I'll handle checking out of your room. Thanks. Wand, what are we going to do now? We'll just have to find somewhere to hide. Please, come to my place. It's close enough to the capital, and it's a little difficult to find. We should be safe there. We don't want to be any trouble, Financier. It's no trouble. Please, let me help you. Why are you doing this for us? Well, how should I put this? I can't explain it very well, but I wish to be of service to you. It's very mysterious, but I always feel like I wish to work for your sake. Financier. Thanks. This really helps. And there's no need to thank me. Let's move before someone finds us. Right. Seisha, please hold on just a little longer. Hmm. This is... Huh? What's going on here? This stage is set just for you. Asna equals love. How dare you show your face to me? What's this? I can't move. But of course. Let's raise the curtain. You're the star, Seisha. What kind of nonsense are you saying? 
Hey, is she the one? Apparently. I guess you really can't judge people by their looks. These people are Louis citizens. Correct. The very ones you try to protect. There are also the people who are hungrily anticipating your execution. What? Come on, hurry it up already. She's the mastermind behind the ridiculous system, right? How much do you think we've suffered because of that woman? No, it wasn't me. I was trying to fix the city. Shut up, you filthy demon. You should have been executed long ago. Wait, listen to me. I've been looking for the person who created the license system. And I apologize for not properly governing this nation. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I am. So please, listen to what I have to say. Who would listen to a demon like you? Will someone just kill this witch already? How could they say this to me? I work so desperately to try and do something beautiful for this nation and her people. You worked more than enough, but the citizens of this nation have not seen your labor. To these residents, you devoted yourself to. You were nothing but a convenient and easy human to use. No matter how much you trusted them, they never so much as gave a thought to you. No, I wasn't fighting to be rewarded or to be praised. That was never the point. Even though you've been so steadfast, no one will even hear your pleas. No one will try to save you. At the drop of a hat, these citizens who relied on you were now showing you malice and hatred beyond belief. Hurry up and execute that vile monster. Execute the woman that made us suffer. Why? Why would you say such a thing? Even though I worked so hard. I... I... That's right, Zisha. Resent them. Hate them. These people. This nation. This world. That way, the delusion will surely swallow you. Now you'll see it too. This an unending nightmare. Hmm. I wonder who that mystery person that spoke at the end there was. Found this gal. Ew. Sog Prince. Uda Prince. <laughs> Sobs. Uda Pri, what are you doing in Neptunia? My hello, I'm the Sog Prince. What is Yuta Pre doing on Neptunia? Zero out of ten. Did not ask. Oh, actually, can I level some of them up? No, I don't have enough for anyone other than the new guys. Might as well. So what's the plan here? Is there even a way to save Seisha in this situation? Being wanted is scary. If anything, we have to make our move on execution day. There's talk of it being a public execution, so it'd be best to aim for that. It'll be tricky, but if a lot of people are going to be there, we can at least count on blending in with the crowd, hidden in plain sight. You're amazing, blonde! This level of planning is easy for an intelligence type CPU like me. Huh? 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 Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Let's hurry and go already. Wait up. What's going on? It's getting noisy out there. Financier, could you go check? Yes, right away. One moment. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but if Seisha's execution has started, we better get ready to move. I hope everything's alright. Lady Blonde, it's an emergency. The neighboring town was just attacked by monsters. What? What's going on? According to people who escaped, 
A large horde of evolutionary monsters suddenly attacked. After they completely destroyed the city, they reportedly continued advancing. Is that true? And what about the monsters? Th that's... They're headed straight here. No way. That sounds really bad. What should we do, Juan? We'll meet them head on. What? That's ridiculous. There were enough monsters to level an entire city. I'm not going out to defeat them all. I'll just buy time for everyone in the city to escape. That's still plenty dangerous. No, you absolutely can't. I'll be fine. Financier, you take Rom and Ram and help people evacuate this city. <laughs> Let me blow. I'm stronger than you think I am, Financier. So trust. Just trust me. Lady Bond, why are you doing this? You may not remember, but this is my nation. Who will protect it if I don't? Blonde, we'll come along as well. This is our nation too. I'll do my best too. You two go support Financier. It'll be difficult for her on her own. I could say the same about you, you know? I'll leave the city to you two. I'm going. Ah, Blonde. Lady Blonde. Let's go, Lady Rom. Lady Ram. Lady Rom. Let's evacuate the city. But pick sis. And that's why you must hurry and evacuate everyone. In order to lessen Lady Blonde's burden. Oh, right. If we do that fast enough, then she won't have to fight as much. Exactly. Let's hurry. Well, on our own again. Oh, Seisha. Not a bad sight to see, Seisha. That's not equals lab. I've come to give you a message. I have no intention of hearing your talk. Leave. Nah, I'm afraid you'll be the one leaving, as it were. Seisha, it's been decided officially that your execution will be conducted today. I see you're so happy you're speechless. The preparations are progressing smoothly. I do hope you're looking forward to it. Sir Asna equals lab. It's an emergency. What's wrong? Why are you so panicked? Apparently, a large horde of delusionary monsters is coming this way. What? A swarm of delusionary monsters? Could it be my power? One city has already been destroyed. The horde is reportedly headed here next. Ugh. Why didn't you alert me sooner? I'm terribly sorry. The city was in chaos, so it took a while to get correct intel. The citizens were abandoning the city. The hunters were suffering a loss of morale just knowing the overwhelming numbers. Oh, I see. So the people of the city will abandon even this place. I don't need your excuses. We must hurry and escape this city. Wait, escape? Shouldn't the Revolutionary Army use all its resources to face them head on? What are you saying? What use is there in protecting this city? Huh? You can simply rebuild the city if it's destroyed. My life is highly valued and should be top priority, far above this meager place. There, uh... Don't want dawdle. Gather an escort group for me immediately. This is an order, soldier. N understood. You're rotten, just like the rest of the city and its residents, all of them. Say what you will. I'll leave your execution to the monsters. Goodbye, Sisha. We will probably never meet again. Everything should just be destroyed. This city, its citizens, everything. I won't protect anything anymore. I don't want to save anything anymore. Sisha, no. The darkness. Hidden treasure box. Ah, oh, Linta Mamiya. No, regards.
Even I can tell this is too much for me. But I can't afford to pull back now. I swear I'll stop them here. Burbs. Let's go. Overkill. <laughs> just me alone against this money is gonna be damn tough after all. I just hope Financier's group is doing alright. I can hear people screaming. How nice. No matter where they run, it's no use. There's no way they'll be saved when even the hunters who are supposed to protect them have all fled. They'll realize he's been helping them all this time as they're fading away, lying in a small pool of their own blood. <laughs> it's overflowing more and more. More delusionary monsters will be born. I don't care what happens. Lady Sisha. That voice. Financier. Thank goodness you're all right. The guards were gone, so I thought you might have been moved. Do you have business with me? I beg of you, Lady Sisha. Please help Lady Blonde. Help Blonde? I don't get what you mean. Lady Blonde is currently fighting alone against the horde of monsters approaching the city. She is? Why is she doing something so useless? She could flee and save her life if she wants. Lady Stacia? I won't help. Why do I have to fight in order to protect the city inhabitants? And what's wrong, Lady Stacia, to say such a thing? I have no intention of fighting for the people of the city. Everyone can fall prey to the monsters for all I care. I'll serve them right. All those idiots who don't understand just who fought for them, protected each one of them. Why were you fighting until now, Lady Sisha? Weren't you fighting because you loved this beautiful nation of Louis? If you love Louis, then that must mean you love her cities and all of her people there. It's true that I did love Louis, but no matter how much I did, I... Have you properly conveyed your love? If you don't properly voice your feelings, how can other people understand? I think it's fine if you feel- if your feelings of fighting for someone only goes one way. Even if it's one-sided display at first, one day. We'll come to understand you soon. I truly believe it. Do you think they'll really understand? Yes, I'm sure. If I apologize, will everyone forgive me? If you properly apologize, they'll forgive you. I know it. This is Louis, after all. It's a magical fairy tale nation, a wonderful and relaxed place. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Plenty has said the same thing before. I wasn't even troubled over. The love for this nation is so much greater than mine. We can't even compare. Yeah. Even though she was put on a wanted list and chased by the citizens, she still risks her life and fights for them. Alright. All I did was end up hating and causing the citizens over- cursing the citizens over something so small. I really am an idiot, aren't I? Lady Sisha, will you help us? Of course. I won't let anyone destroy the city that I love. Grrr. You jackasses, just keep on coming, but I have my own will to live. Oh boy. 
Ale by by... Uh, that's not good. Did that change? Yeah, how dare it do that to me? Man, I could have knocked that one out, but it changed which one. How dare it. That one's down now, so... Honestly, it didn't end up being as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Freezing Claws. Level up. <laughs> Damn it, what numbers? This is bad. At this rate, I might not make it. No, oh, now you just sound pathetic. This voice. Hey there, Blonnie. Sisha, did you get caught? Financier came to save me. Well, I'll tell you all about that later. Right now, we need to get this mess sorted out. Heh, <laughs> talking so smart even though you just got here. Weren't you in a cell though? Can you just jump in so soon? Who do you think I am? I'm the hunter. No, I'm one of the gold third, Sisha. We, Sisha.
match is a higher level than Blonde. That's fine. Oh wait, uh... I don't think I have any equipment for her, but... Yeah, okay. Interesting. Damn it. How many has it been now? I stopped counting about halfway. I can keep going. I want to say that at least. But I can't. My body's heavy. Looks like it's the end here. Thanks for everything, Blonnie. It's been real fun. What are you giving up for? We bought time. Now we can escape. You say that. Even though you had no intention of running away from the start. What the hell are you saying? I knew from the start that, as a CPU, you never seriously used a strategy that would abandon a city. Of course. There's no way I'm gonna let any more of my cities be destroyed. <laughs> I feel the same way. Let's show them the inner strength of the Golden Pair. Don't use that stupid freaking name. Wait. What's this noise? I wish I knew, Blonde. Huh? You're right. What is it? Footsteps? Go! Everyone, charge! Roar! What the hell's that? Hunters from the guild. Didn't they run away? Blonde, Stacia, are you alright? We came to save you guys. Ram? And Rom too? Blonde, oh, you're really hurt. I'll heal you right now. Wait, before you do that, what's going on? Oh, you two are alright. I'm so glad. Financier, you're here too? Me and Rom and Financier and the woman from the guild brought back all of the hunters. And they told us that the Golden Pair was taking on the horde of monsters. We couldn't flee like pathetic wimps when the two girls were out here still fighting the good fight. You all. Well, we'll let you thank us later. Right now, we have to clean this up. Come on, you guys. Don't let any of those monsters out alive. They can't mess with our city. Yeah. What do you think, Lady Seisha? The people of this nation are really something, aren't they? Yeah. You're totally right. I'm embarrassed myself that I ever hated them. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Sisha. Moni, I was late in telling you this, but I'm sorry for keeping quiet about things. You don't have to apologize. You weren't trying to trick me, right? Besides, I should apologize for letting Anza equals love trick me. I'm real sorry. You don't have to apologize, either. Everything is Anza equals love's fault. Thanks. Helps to hear you actually say that. Let's be friends again, Lonnie. Yeah, you bet. It looks like you two have made up. Friendship is a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a waste for the Golden Pair to break up. Okay. I know we're friends now, and that's nice. But can you change that stupid-ass name already? Oh, jeez. Here we go. It's fine, isn't it? Whatever. Let's go. The Golden Pair has one more difficult job to do. We...
Oops, wrong thing. Dogus. Is there more? Oh yeah, there's more on each side. This is fine. We. Hey, we're finished over here. Already? We're hunters. This much is a cinch. Well, it is in part thanks to you guys lowering the numbers somewhat. Well, we're the Golden Pair. We're invincible. I said that name. <sighs> I give up. Let's return to the city. I must help with attending to your wounds as well. Yeah, let's head back then. Rob, Ram, lend me your shoulders, would you? It hurts to walk. Okay, leave it to us. We'll carry you everywhere. We'll carry you. Uh, what about me? I'll carry you, Blonnie. Let me give you a piggyback ride. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? It's my job to carry her back while cradling her pant pant. God damn. Wait, what? You sure are popular, Bonnie. I'm not into this at all, you stupid idiot. Come on. Come on. I know what you're doing. Don't you dare touch me, you perverted bastards. Oh boy. Ooh, another dungeon's been found. It looks like the city hasn't been damaged. Thank goodness. We all work together to protect it, so I guess it makes sense. No, well, if it isn't the prisoner and the wanted criminal over there. That's like equals Leb. Where have you been hiding? Where? Why are you acting like that? You were the very first one to run away. I do not know what you're implying. Besides, who would believe words from a prisoner? Nah. <sighs> This jerk. Now, hunters, capture these criminals. Well, why won't anyone capture them? They're the ones responsible for tarnishing Louise's fine name. That's not true. At the least, Lady Blonde and the others love the city more than you, coward. What are you saying, financier? There's no existing evidence that I ran away. I'll testify to that then. Well, you. Anza equals lab said it didn't matter if this was destroyed or the people were or not left or not, as long as he was safe. What? No way. He ran away and left us all here to fend for ourselves? What kind of man is that? It's nonsense. This man is associated with those criminals. 
He's the one who arranged for Blonde to be placed on the wanted list. You, you scum. Sir Ansel equals Lab tried to execute Lady Blonde and Lady Seisha, all for his own greed. Those two were innocent. S Silence! Who do you think I am? The god who created the license system? What? You must have a pretty deep connection with the nation if you knew that I was the ruler of Louis. Putting aside whether you created this system or not, there's a high chance you know who did. You must be joking. Now, now, why don't you let us hear your side of the story? Hmm? Mr. Anzo equals love, Asna equals love. There are other things we'd like to ask you. We'll have you come along. Quietly. This is ridiculous. Let go of me. You ordinary weak people can't do anything without my guidance or management. You need to let yourself be controlled by me for the sake of your happiness. Hmm. What's so good about Louis being ruled by a girl who looks middle-aged? Oh, the horror. Don't give me that shit. Nah. You, you hit me. Even my own father never hit me. How dare you punch my face. With a fist, even. Yeah, I punched you. So freaking what? And the citizens of Louis aren't weak. They don't need your damned oversight. <sighs> You heard the lady. We don't need you. So get to walking already. Phew. You look really refreshed. I feel pretty good after seeing all that. I guess it's my turn next. Watch me, Blonnie. Sisha? Hey, are you all listening? My name is Sisha, and I am the Gold Third, ruling over Louis. Because I was a coward, I let that idiot have his way with Louis. And I sincerely apologize. That isn't your fault. You aren't responsible for Asna equals Lebzone's stupidity. Even still, I am at fault. I'm the leader, yet I neglected my duty and became a hunter, wandering around the nation. If I had been more responsible, this never would have happened. So, I have a favor to ask all of you. I ask that you will accept me as your leader. What? Accept you? You were Louise Gold Third? I know that she rarely showed herself, but I never expected the leader to look like some kid. I know that I'm not very reliable, but I love Louis, so please, let me protect the nation I love. I guess they won't accept me after all. Of course they wouldn't be so convenient. I think it sounds alright with me. Huh? I'm fine with it, too. Anyone who boldly loves Louis is a good person in my book. You risked your life to protect this city. I can leave this nation to someone like you. Is it really okay? They're saying it's fine, so it's fine, isn't it? Financier. What are you doing? You're alright with leaving things to you, so you have something to say, right? Right. I may be a little unreliable, and I can get lazy at times. But I'll do my best for Louis. So let's all make this place into a wonderful nation. Woohoo! Is this okay, Blanc? It's fine. For now. I don't want to destroy this piece by taking to force them to remember. By trying to force them to remember. I don't know why I read that so wrong. Louis has to make some changes for it to rise above this dystopia it's been in for a while. It's best to let Seisha run things for right now. What are you doing over there, Blani? Come over here. Hey, don't pull me like that. You're the star here, not me. You and I both are stars. Hey, so I was thinking about having you be a secretary at the Basilico. Are you just deciding my job without permission? I thought we were over that. I'm not doing it. Oh, come on. We're a pair. We're in this together. That's separate from what you're talking about. It's better for someone who understands the situation to do it. Besides, this is an order from the omnipotent Gold Third. Hey, don't start talking like that, you jackass. That's freaking low and dirty. 
Lady Blonde and Lady Seisha really get along. Don't joke with me, Seisha. Let me go! Poor Blonde. It's quite the happily ever after. Yep. Uh-huh. It ain't happy at all! <laughs> just like Blonde said, nothing's happy at all. This is just the beginning in reality. Now, Seisha, it's time to awaken as a vessel. <laughs> Seisha, what's wrong? <sighs> That's right. I completely forgot about this. Guess I won't let things end peacefully. You suppress the delusionary power too much. To think your actions to protect this nation's people would backfire like this. I don't know who you are. Are you the mastermind? All you need to know is that I'm taking control of your body. I'm looking forward to what this golden power of yours is like. So that's your objective. But there are things I need to do. I won't let you. Sorry, Blonnie. But I have business that I need to take care of. Can you wait for me a little bit? Huh? Sisha, where are you going? Sisha! Hmm. What's the latest? I've gathered several light witness reports. Seija has gone into the Golden Summit. In the Golden Summit? That Golden Tower? Yes, but the entrance to the tower is supposedly unopenable. I wish she'd go there. Maybe it's because Seisha is part of the Gold Third? It's the same gold color, so it might be related in some way. Alright then, let's head to the Golden Summit! Let's go! It looks like we'll be going to the Gold Summit. Thank you, Lady Blonde. I have a very bad feeling. What a coincidence. So do I. I hope this feeling's just my imagination. Steam Max has arrived. It looks as if all the residents of this mansion are out, just as the General's information said. My search should go smoothly, then. Now, let's see. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh! This is... This is a pocketed monstrosities fanzine that was distributed at Connie's years ago, but was pressured by a certain... Yeah, pressured by a certain Louis and manufacturer to stop? If I remember, no humans appeared within, and had the plot of monstrosities grappling it out in very suggestive pro-wrestling matches. To think Louis' revolutionaries were furries. I suppose such a long-standing genre has fans in all sorts of places. Whoops, I cannot do this now. I have a direct command from the general to fulfill. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh my, so did this locked cabinet is a photo album of Louis CPU candidates? And this angle. No matter how you look, these need to be secretly taken photos. If it were a magazine of busty blondes, I would take it. But for the world and humanity's sake, I should burn this. Hmm? Th this is a disc of a midwinter afternoon's daydream? Isn't it the legendary film that was the number one most searched video on Neptune for several years? I believe the cont content was about a senior in a swim club inviting a junior to his apartment roof where an explosive romance occurs. They've even covered this genre, as expected of a revolutionary. He's even revolutionized in his taste. Incredible! Hmm. This mansion is a treasure trove. I can't help but interrupt by investigation. Oh boy. Interesting that Steam Max is here in Louis. I'm not surprised. But still. Ooh. Oh, uh. I think this is a good place. Or 
We haven't done a VR event in a little while. Let's do one of those and then we'll call it a night. Come on, game. You can load. I hear the sound. Come on. Well, this is not good. Oh, there he goes. Finally. It's getting worried there. Being relied on. No school like the... Hmm. Let's go with blonde. Hi there. I'm here again. Like I mentioned last time. Here, I brought you some books from my room. They're all wonderful books, and I'd love for you to read them when you get a chance. I'm going to put them on your bookshelf, okay? Okay. <laughs> With all the books I brought, her bookshelves filled out quite nicely. It's amazing. No matter how many times I see it, when a bookshelf has been filled, so has my heart. That's cute. Looking at my favorite things always calms me down. Before I came over here, I was with my sisters. They're younger, and they're twins. The one in blue is Rom. She's the quiet one. The one in pink is Ram. She's really energetic. And they get mixed up all the time, but Rom is the older one of the two. I'm proud of them both, and they're so cute. I just realized, you must know about both of them by now. And it can be a handful sometimes. If I take my eyes off of them for a second, they'll get into trouble. I'm busy all day, so I'm not always able to look after them. It's understandable that they get into mischief here and there, but... I just don't have a lot of time to hang out with them. But besides that... Well, I'm not the most outgoing individual in the world, so it's hard for me to take the initiative. So, even if they get into a little mischief, I almost to welcome it as long as they're doing something with me. No. But, I'll get angry if they end up drawing on any of my important documents. I'm not great at leading people, but it brings me so much happiness to know Rom and Ram rely on me. Cute. Player, does it make you happy to know someone relies on you, even if you're not a leader? I mean, yeah, doesn't anyone? It's nice, isn't it? It helps when it Blah, blah, blah. It helps when it's someone who you know well. It encourages you to be a better person. I feel so much better knowing that you feel the same way I do. I'm glad. No. I'm gonna give her head pats. Oh, I apologize. Somehow, this turned into me confiding in you. I don't mind, little blonde. I don't have a lot of people I can talk to about this. 
We have Neptune and the other goddesses, but I don't know. They're all goofy, so understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> They're more like rivals, even though we spur each other on to be better fighters. I don't think we ever just talk about our feelings. Oh, wait. What in the world am I saying? I'm really sorry. I guess I'll head home for today. I feel like I just kept on talking, but I'm glad you were here to listen. <laughs> Cute. Um, thanks for spending so much time with me today. I appreciate you a lot. No. Cute. Wholesome. Did we get a new item from that? Yeah. What is it? Uh, last thing we got from Nap was this. Okay. Oh, bookshelf first from the bottom. Nap game! I like that. Yeah, all the nup games. Interesting. Well, anyways. Next time, we'll find Seisha. For now, we are done. Uh, bye bye. Uh, wrong one. This one. Yeah, there we go. I'm smart. Sometimes. Okay, let's see. What do you guys think of how the story's progressing so far, though? Any theories and whatnot? Anyways, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. getting distracted for by messages aside. It's a time, no theories though. That's valid. I am enjoying it though, so far. Just, I don't know, I guess it's a little hard to come up with theories right now because there's like so much we don't know. Probably by the time we have like more like noirs and verts POV, we'll have like a stronger idea of what's going on. Or, if we could hear the mysterious voice, then I could be like, oh yeah, I think I recognize that voice. If it's a recognizable voice, you know? But alas, we're in the dark. Which sucks. <sighs> Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna raid, uh, Luna Chifuyu, who I haven't raided in a while, but they're currently playing some Genshin Impact. I imagine they're playing the new update. Just a theory, though. Um. Let's see, what's their screen title? What's your favorite anime? So after we come in, we could probably answer that question. 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, go ahead and copy it and paste that message from Mooba as soon as we land in Luna's chat. Um, I appreciate all your support as always, and I'll catch you all next time. Um, the schedule is already up on the Discord, but I will be posting it on Blue Sky tomorrow. Yeah! Next stream will be Wednesday with some art with Aeon, so long as nothing goofy happens. And otherwise, everything should be fairly normal. Um, Friday, I might have to come up with a placeholder. It kind of depends on how Relix is doing, being sick and whatnot. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, until next time, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll catch you all then. I don't know. I feel like I'm very redundant in this. Anyways, bye-bye.